Welcome everyone to a new month of juggling news. I'm Evan Dragsha and I'll be your host for these February juggling news that are brought to you by eJuggle, the official publication of the IJA. Let's get right into some clips. Ian Juggles continues to improve and this month he pulled off a clean looking 975. It's great to see 7 ball tricks getting pulled off by young jugglers. And the guys Kellen Quinn and Louis Kaysen are continuing to push out wild and surprising tricks many times every month. From insane balances, to cigar box tricks with clubs, to rolls. And also some nice squeeze catches. What I would love to see is a collaboration video with these two guys. That would be completely mental. Another person that has gone wild this month is Spencer Androli. With all three props, Spencer continues to push out different combo tricks. And as always, his tricks are really solid, controlled and relaxed. And have you seen this awesome trick by Thibaut Michel? I don't think I've ever seen that many consecutive blind throws of that length before. This gets the price of the craziest 3 ball shower I've ever seen. Great work. But the craziness doesn't stop here. For that, we need to check out Raul Cañas. Raul just pulled up one of the best bouncing tricks I've ever seen. A 3 club double bounce. Raul does 6 bounces with 2 balls while doing a flash of 3 clubs. Real cool trick. And David Larible as well. How a juggler I wasn't even aware of suddenly post a 10 ring qualifier really amazes me. And he did a 360 before catching the last ring as well, which is an indicator to me that this isn't the first time of him pulling it off. Maybe he suddenly out of nowhere pulls off the 10 ring world record. And by the way, the pre-registration for EJC has just started. And then we go over to this month's juggling videos. Sadly I haven't come across many this month, so keep linking videos in the comment section below if you have something that you want to get featured in juggling news. But one of the videos I saw was from Greece. Anthi Papadimitriou made one of this month's IJ Tricks of the Month videos. Here Anthi juggles soups in a great scenery. Beautiful lights with a relaxing background and lovely music. I really enjoyed her balancing tricks, which are on point. This is a great video that all of you should check out. I mean, I feel like when people see the elevator, it's the same way I feel whenever I saw Hiroki Kame do the Diablo on the floor, spinning diagonally. And if you're into diving, you're going to love Zach McAllister's two discography dive videos, where he this month took a deep dive into Etienne Chausey and Kai Smith. Zach shows us a lot of different videos throughout their juggling career, which leads you to learn a lot about them. I have nothing but good things to say about this. What's he gonna do? It's almost impossible to go by a month these days without having a new juggling world record, which I love. No matter what pattern it is, I always find it interesting to see juggling getting pushed further. At the beginning of February, Luca Hasse broke the 4 club slapback world record by getting 172 catches. But just short of a week later, Kotaro Minami pulled off more than 200 catches of 4 club slapbacks. Great effort from both. We'll see who of you that have the world record by the end of March. And then it happened again. Alexander Innocenzer broke another world record. And this time it was the 3 club world record. For the first time since mid-2019, the official 3 club world record is now finally longer than any unofficial world record. Alexander broke Camillo's 4 hour and 22 minutes and Nick Thomas's 4 hour and 55 minutes, but being the first to break the 5 hour barrier by getting 5 hours, 1 minute and 51 seconds. What I found interesting is that for all 3 of these records, none of them juggled until they dropped by mistake. Camillo did a collect. Nick tried some 360s, and Alexander seemed to let go of the clubs on purpose after hitting the 5 hour mark. 
What this record sometime will end up on is hard to say, but huge thank you to these guys to help pushing it further. And then it's time for this month's juggling news badge. Some might have guessed this already since I only included one out of the two tricks of the month videos. That's because this month's winner is... Bo and Armin for their tricks of the month video with Poi. This really is the type of video that I just love watching. So many crazy tricks by them both. The filming and editing is also really well thought out. This video has so much going for it. It's easier for me to count how many of these tricks I've seen before compared to how many tricks I haven't. They have both pushed creativity and difficulty to a whole new level to make this a complete poi masterpiece. That's everything. What were your favorite news this month and what would you like me to include for the month of March? I'm Evan Dragsjö and thank you for watching.